I think most organizations would agree that you know diversity is of significant importance of benefit and when I talk about diversity it can be diversity of of, of gender, diversity of race, diversity of culture, and quite frankly, if you think about diversity of, of you know, across generations, I think for an organization to succeed within this, in the context of the diversity of kind of multi-generations that you talk about, I think first of all, there has to be a complete openness amongst you know, the different generations, an acceptance of each other's perspectives, and a respect for each other's perspectives. And I think the way you get that going is by having an absolutely open channel of communication that allows you know, different generations to express themselves openly and for the other side to understand you know, each other. I think there is an open and a two-way flow of communication and ideas. And you know, over time, I think this diversity can only help an organization. I mean, if you would think about specific examples, I think when you look at us here in city in India, I think a lot of our innovation, our new ideas, our new products are typically, uh, you know, generated by our younger talent and you know younger people. At the same time, you know, it's very important for us to also have the experience of people who've been in the industry for a long, long time, and that blend of kind of you know the old and the young is very important. I mean, if you think about a role like compliance. You know, ideally you want someone with a lot of years of experience in that. So I think it's a wonderful blend and a balance that an organization benefits from. I think there are a number of things that happen along the way as you evolve and as you grow as a, as a young person. Uh, and I think at City, what we've been fairly successful in doing is giving young people large amounts of responsibility, you know, big exposure, uh, the ability to be completely empowered in decision making and I think as you grow as a professional each of those moments whilst they may not necessarily be Eureka moments I think in the context of that individual tend to be very defining as you as you you know grow professionally when you think about a number of our young people you know you think about someone who gets an opportunity who's lived in India all his life comes from a small town and suddenly gets an opportunity to assume a you know, big role or a responsibility in a large market like New York or Hong Kong. I mean, you know, for that individual, that is a very defining moment. I think if you, if you think about some of the things that we've done in India in terms of, you know, new technologies, digitization, you know, someone at some point thought about putting the credit card or the ATM machine. When we talk about trade, when we talk about global trade, when we talk about some of the very, you know, path-breaking investment banking transactions that we've done, I mean, for each of the individuals, or, you know, individual members of those team, which I've been, you know, had the benefit to be a part of, when you are successful in doing something which creates either economic value or enables progress for a client, I mean, that in itself is a, is a eureka moment. You know, at the end of the day, there are obviously many, many different attributes that we look for in young leaders before we start you know, identifying them, as you said, as high potentials and then positioning them for, for larger and increased responsibilities. I think in the context of, of what's going on in the world today, there are maybe a few things that I would touch upon. I mean, you know, the first thing that we look for or I would look for is someone who has uh, the hunger, the passion and the aspiration to succeed. I think the second thing I would look for is, is people who assume and are happy to assume a sense of responsibility and ownership at a young age. Uh, thinking out of the box, creativity is obviously uh, is an important attribute. I think we also look for people who show initiative and leadership in even the smallest things. I think that's important because that gives you an indication of, of the bent of mind. If you're willing to show leadership and initiative in small things, that means you know, that's, that's a perspective that you have. And I think the last thing that I would talk about is change, right? I mean, we live and we exist in an industry and in a world that is changing so rapidly. And I think young people who are open to change, adaptable to change, and are willing to embrace change often distinguish themselves from those who aren't. I think the ET Young Leaders Program is a great initiative. I think it's a great idea and a great initiative in that it uh, recognizes and acknowledges the role that young leaders have here in India today. And I think it's important because eventually when you think about it, these young leaders are only young leaders today. You know, very, very soon, in a few years from now, these will be the leaders of tomorrow. And I think that's why it's very important. 
the message that I would give them, I think India is a wonderful place to be. Your timing is great. You know, the world is your stage. You know, grab the opportunity with both your hands. You know, grab the opportunity, make the most of it, and, uh, you know, enjoy yourself along the way. Make sure you enjoy yourself along the way.